uh, slightly different questions to, to last time, but fairly similar as well. So this time, we've got some friends coming around for dinner, okay? And we've got a recipe that serves four people, we're told in the recipe. Okay, in this recipe, we're told we need 100 grams of flour. We need 150 grams of sugar. And we're told we need 200 ml of milk. And we're told we need two eggs. Okay, so what we need to do is convert this because we are actually cooking for six people. So how much of each ingredient do we need in order to make enough for six people? So it's actually relatively straightforward. We need to get from four to six. So what we need to do is work out how much we need to serve one person. So for 100 grams of flour, we need to do 100 divided by four, which tell us how many, much we need for one person, which would be 25 grams. Okay, and then just times that by six. So we're going to do 25 times by six, which is 150 grams. So that's what we need, a flour. And we do the same for everything. So we'll do 150 divided by four, which is 37.5 and then we'll do 37.5 times by 6 which is 225 grams of sugar. We'll do the same for the milk. 25 by 4 or 2 divided by 4 is 50 grams. Okay, and then we'll do the 50 times by 6, which will give us 300 grams. Okay, and finally for the eggs, we've got 2 divided by 4, which equals a half. Or 1.5, depending on whether you want to write as a fraction or as a decimal. And then we'll do from five times six, and we find out that we actually need three eggs. So we need three eggs, 300 grams, 300 ml of milk, not grams. Easy mistake to make. 300 ml of milk, 225 grams of sugar, and 150 grams of flour. And it's that easy, that's ratios. Uh, have a go through these questions and then we'll move on to the next section.